Three D audio is gonna Sony be the game the world the the generation. I'm pretty sure Tech Mobile has a speed run. Everybody, welcome back to this week's most elite podcast. We are, we are, we are, we are. I mean, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the POD song. Or I think it's POD, Youth of the Nation. I think that, that it's like, we are, we are, we are. It reminds me of that. Uh, but we are, um, we're doing, we're finishing Resident Evil 4. And as I said prior, the next few episodes will not be me talking about the game at all because I lost that footage. I lost me doing that. So the next few episodes will just be audio for me and you guys will still see the video because I have the video. I just don't have the audio for the video. So you guys will still see the video, but for me, it'll just, it'll just be audio. So I'm just recording right now. It's the start of the work week. So it's morning time before anything is happening. Like I start work at like 5 a.m. So it's really late for me or really early, depending on how you look at it. Because I'm recording this before any sort of work happens. And you hear the birds probably chirping. Just to let me know that the sun is coming. Some Beatles for the Beatles fans. Here comes the sun. Anyway, Resident Evil 4. If I remember correctly, I'm... I died. I died to the boulder. That leads into the little swamp part that leads into... It's not it's not the fish right away. Whatever, I'm collecting treasures or whatever. But, uh... Yeah, let's, let's talk about some game stuff. Since I can't see the game to talk about the game. Let's talk about some game stuff. Returnal is still struggling with its... Save problem. Apparently it has a save problem. Saving problem. Where it's like you can't save your run at any point in the game. Now, normally I would just say suck it up, but to be fair, the game that I compare it the most to, and think it has shares the most common with, Enter the Gungeon, you can save your run at the end of each floor. Like, at the end of each floor, there's a little red button you can press that says save and quit, or you can just save and quit, if you feel so inclined. Uh, unlike other, like, roguelike games, though... Like, Returnal isn't... Returnal isn't infinite. Once you beat six stages, once you beat, like... Well, three stages... It's six stages in the game, but three stages of each section. It's section into part one, part two. There are no more stages. There's no, like, loop. You Once you beat that final boss of each stage, you it's over. You did it. Like, the credits are gonna fucking run. And when you restart the ship, you don't have any of that shit again. So, that's the and same thing for Ghost of the Gungeon. Like once you beat either the dragon, or you go to the or you go to hell, you bullet hell, and beat uh, the gunslinger, or the or the lich, whatever you want, whatever, then it's fucking over. The credits run, and you start over again. Now the gungeon gave you the option to save because I guess the runs were getting kind of lazy. I guess I have no idea why the gungeon included the option to save. But you can save and quit. So I will say since the Gungeon has it, I guess Returnal should have it. I, there's some sort of technical reason why it doesn't have it. It's not because like, oh, they just don't want to have it. I think they don't know how to implement a save and quit option. Some sort of technical reason with the PS5 or the game software it has to be that up because you would think that's the easiest thing ever. Fucking save and quit. So it has to be some reason that we as the consumer don't understand. Oh, pardon me for yawning. I wasn't yawning this whole time. I swear to God, the second I sit in this chair to be like, you don't want to fuck with me, do some podcasts. Blah, blah, blah. The second I do that, I start yawning. I could be like bright eyed, bushy tailed, had eight pints of coffee, whatever the case. I could, I'm just fucking yawning the second I sit down to do this. I don't know what it is. It's some, I don't know, some sort of mental thing I got going on. But yeah, so the Gungeon has a saving quit, right? And that's the game I compare it to the most, so. Yeah, sure. Saving quit would be nice. Like, right after... Like, even if it's just right after the boss of each level. Or transitioning between each level. Like, because there's three levels in... 
the transitions are pretty obvious. One is a teleporter, one is like grappling hook or walk, and another one is jump in a fucking pool of water or whatever the, the abyss. But like, it'd be nice that if e some pe somebody pointed out that the, the little cloning stations in the game where you can clone yourself just in case you die, you don't restart, you start at that with a cloning station. That could be like a save and quit. Like, if you want to clone yourself, you can save and quit there as well. And, you know, that's a fair... That's fair. So, hopefully, they figure that out. I would like them to figure it out. Because the game's an A-plus in my book. I think it's a fantastic game, even with the inability to save. Even with the inability to save the game, I think it's a fucking stellar game. And I don't care about saving the game. Because, like, I'm going to beat it in one run anyway. I don't ever... I've never used the save and quit option in the dungeon. Ever. Not once. Because I don't need to. You know? And I, I get why it's nice to still have it. Because what if you have to use it? What if you're like, oh shit, I forgot I gotta go to this doctor's appointment. Or like, oh no, I, I gotta... This this really important thing where I can't just pause it and come back to it. I have to turn the system off. What if I have to do that? I get... I completely understand. Or what if my system updates? A lot of people lost their runs because their system updated. So, no, I absolutely understand the need to have one. And... What the fuck? And yeah, no. So I really do hope they figure it out. And while they're at it, I hope they add more characters and more powers. That would make me very happy. I really, really like that game, and I want to see it like be remembered well. You know. Uh, moving on from Returnal. Oh shit! I only got like four minutes left in this episode. Fuck me, man. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the a quick thing. I'm trying to keep them all under ten minutes now because I have a really good computer now. And rendering the videos only take like a minute and 30 seconds. But unfortunately, uploading them to YouTube still take too fucking long. So, like, even if I made all these episodes, let's say I made these episodes 30 minutes. It would take me like five minutes to render it, right? But then a 30-minute video going up to YouTube, even compressed and all that shit, it's, it's like some gigabytes. It's like a gigabyte or so, or two. It's going to take like 45 minutes. I fucking hate doing that. It's much easier to upload a 10 minute video at 15 minutes than a 45 minute video at an hour and a half. You know what I mean? So that's why that's why I'm keep I'm trying to keep my video short. I'm just trying to make that the new standard. I'm trying to make them 10 minutes or so, and that's fine. You know, moving on from Eternal. Sorry, I ramble. It's my thing. We got the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I talked about it last episode. So, people have added a FOV slider, kind of like they did for Resident Evil Village. Oh my god, quick. Um, we're playing fucking Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil Village came out. I've done everything in the game. I've gotten all the weapons, for the most part. I just... I've beat the hardest difficulty. I beat it in under three hours, which made me really proud of myself. Uh, the speedrunners are going crazy right now. I'm figuring it out, and it's, it, looks, it looks like it's going to be a great speedrun. I am going to learn the speedrun because I want to be top ten in the world in that game. I don't, I don't even want to be number one. Like, I want to be top ten. I want to post on my Instagram and my Twitch, like, under my under every video, top ten speedrunner plays such and such game, you know. I want that prestige, and I think it's doable. Uh, I'm still working on my top ten for Resident Evil 2, 1998. It is hard as shit to break top ten in that game. Uh, but I'm still doing it, and the, on the weekends I do it. During the week, I try to do the podcast. So, you know, there's that. Resident Evil Village. Stellar game. You'll see it on this channel at some point. You will see me play it on this channel. I'll probably do what I did for 4, where I'll just get the infinite weapons, and we'll just have a nice leisurely little playthrough, and it won't be any, like, stress or me, like, fucking pulling my hair out trying to do a fucking speed run and failing, because that shit happens a lot in speed runs, so... Just more classic stuff. Like I, as I said before, I'm going to play every Resident Evil on this channel because I love Resident Evil. So far, we've played four, two, remake two, remake three. We didn't beat remake three, but we did play it. Uh, Gaiden, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, which is one of my favorite Resident Evil games. We, I cannot find Survivor. I'm looking to find the speedrun edition of Survivor. When I find it, we will play it. That's the first person game for PlayStation One. I've been looking for it. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I want the PC version. Like, I don't want to have to buy a fucking PlayStation 1. Because I can buy PlayStation 1 and buy it and, like, jerry-rig together recording for it. Like, it, 
it's not too hard. It's been done. I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. You know what I mean? So that's sort of where we are with with uh, Survivor, you know. But we are going to do all the Resident Evils on this channel. That's definitely happening. So be on the lookout for those coming up. I'm going to finish all of four. I've actually been playing it and recording it and not talking just so I can keep it consistent. So the game's pretty much done. I just got to pick the times in the day to upload these. Speaking of which, we're pretty much at the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching, as always. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. If not, that's okay, too. Uh, we have a whole bunch more Resident Evil coming up and more horror in general. As more horror games come out, I will be playing them. And we're going to do some movies. I want to I wanna watch, you know what I was going to watch? Wrath of Man with Jason Statham, and maybe we'll do a review. Until then, though, thank you for watching, guys. See ya.